Well, how do that, Jums? There's cup of tea with Captain Steve, but I'm cheating. Because this is actually hot chocolate. Galaxy hot chocolate, to be precise. Yummy, yummy. But it's the same format. We're still going to be chatting about stuff in the gaming universe. Yes, I didn't mention No Man's Sky, no. No, because today we're jumping back over to Hogwarts Legacy, people inside of the view of us. And why am I doing that? Well, I will let you know during this video, people. So let's get on into it, shall we? So I'm over on YouTube. Oh, I would be if uh, my freaking screen was working. Oh, there we go. Yeah, technical difficulties. It does happen from time to time to the best of us, I should add. Right, okay, right. So let's hit on up. Any of these, any of these videos, any at all, I mean, they're all freaking pretty darn good. Yes, they are. I guess four days ago. These all happened about four days ago. You know what? Um, I'm just going to hit on up. Oh, actually, this one's got a freaking dragon on it. I like dragons more than I like griffins. So we're going to hit up this one. A bit longer. Uh, yeah, a bit longer. But I'm going to be muting it anyway. So it doesn't totally on, matter. Here we go. Let's hit this. Because a lot of people have been given a hands-on test with Hogwarts Legacy. And I must say, it looks freaking awesome. That is at 4K right now, correct? Yes, it is at 4K. I'm just going to just set it to 4K because leaving it on auto, sometimes it then buffers and then changes back. I'm just going to have this running in the background while I'm chatting. Hopefully, my yeah, my mouse point has disappeared now. But before, in the previous footage, some of my complaints were, as the broom was flying quite fast, the popping was very noticeable. But here... I'm not seeing any popping and you know the motion blur effects are a little bit jarring to a degree is it hitting the constant 60 frames per second I think it's more likely hitting 30 at the moment but it could just be the way this has been converted and uploaded but it's the popping the popping doesn't happen so much anymore I mean you saw it on some of the parapet across the top of the church there on the roof and some of the turrets in the background there and some of the brickwork textures but it's not as noticeable as it was. And something else I've noticed is the world just seems a lot more fleshed out. And I'm sure there's a few more NPCs in and around the actual dormitories. And look, see, people just greet you as you're walking down the stairs in the roundabout way. And apparently, they even talk about you. So if you've managed to take on out a troll and all sorts of other stuff, sometimes you hear fellow classmates talking about the deeds that you've done. And you get to see a few more of the spells like there, where the actual statues become animated and come to life so there's a lot more that's been shown in the gameplay footage from the actual individuals that got to play test harry potter and i really like all the paintings and how they're moving there as well pretty darn freaking lovely anyway i'm just gonna have a little sip of my hot chocolate but ugh, doesn't it look nice So, some of my other gripes were with combat, weren't they? Now, I haven't watched this video before, so I don't know whether he gets into combat. Here's some combat here, I believe. Something's happening anyway, so let's go to there. There's something they talked about, some of the actual game testers. You see that they've got yellow bubbles around them, and you've got yellow moves down in the bottom on that radio there. So if you hit them with a yellow move, you will break their shield that's in yellow. But if they've got a purple shield, if you use your purple spell, it breaks them that way as well. So there's all sorts you can do. Plus also you can reflect and parry their magic back at them, which would destroy their shields too. So seeing that there's a little bit more thought inside of the combat rather than just spammering freaking spells, which it looked like in the previous gameplay footage, there is actual tactics to be had. Also, the playtester said that there's a freaking plethora, a plethora of different spells that you can use. So here you can actually use stealth. You can get back behind them and one hit people with them. So there's all different ways of playing depending on the build that you've done, which means that this is far more evolved than what I thought it was based off the gameplay trailers we saw from the Maker's website. If you go to the Avalanche YouTube channel for Hogwarts, they've done it a disservice, I think, because these playtesters have shown exactly what it's like. This is what I was hoping to see. And if you haven't seen my previous video about me moaning and ranting about this game, take a look. I put a link in the top right hand corner and see if I have a point. But Please compare what I showcased in that previous video to what's being showcased by the playtesters. Playtesters know how to tantalise an audience, and this is tantalising. 
to the point, to the point, people in the viewerverse, that I think I'm going to be getting this in February and hitting it up and giving it a bit of a play. That said, as you know, I'm going to be going to the Philippines and I can't really afford the 60 quid outlay that this game is going to be. I might have to hope that somebody trades it into CEX and go down there with a shed load of Blu-rays and DVDs and bits and bobs that I've got lying around my house to sell my soul to get this freaking game now, people, because it does look actually really good. And um, yeah... I think I need to eat humble pie where humble pie is duly juice. And it, it is. Yeah, I'm, I don't even like pie. But yeah, I'm going to be eating it because this does look cool. Also, you can swim. When it's deeper than this, you, there you go, you take into swimming. But you can swim. They haven't shown if you can dive under the water, though. And um, they said that they were trying to, but they couldn't work out how to dive down. I watched Craze Gaming's video. Craze Gaming's done a really good coverage of this, too. But I'm loving the different seasons. This is another thing that I didn't know happened. So it actually goes for all the different seasons. This game is crying out to be freaking multiplayer with DLC and live events and all sorts of other shenanigans thrown in. And if they make an online version like they, they like Red Dead did, you know, Red Dead Online, if they did something like that with this game, oh my days, I'd be all over it. If I knew that was coming, I would definitely be investing into this game because it would have a la much larger, like um, you know, shelf life. Now look at that! It just turned him to stone and he fell off the edge of the cliff. That's the whole one-hitting thing with the stealth sort of mechanics. The funny thing is, I saw Craze Gaming do something very similar to this in his video. So I don't know whether they've given them actual footage that they had to use, or whether this is their own footage. But yeah, I love it! I'm liking, the, I'm liking the look of this a heck of a lot more than I did before, people in the viewer versus what I'm trying to put across to you. Heck yes. Let's see if he shows any of the dragon footage inside of here, peeps. Because the dra the animations on the dragons look pretty darn cool. Hold on, what's this? I haven't seen this. Oh yeah, here's a go. Th there's battles of the dragon going down in this pit down here. And they do look pretty darn cool, don't they? They look as nicely animated as some of the dragons inside of like the likes of Elden Ring. But that looks like full motion video. That doesn't look like it's actually in-game. But I could be wrong. Could be wrong. Actually, no. I think that is in-game. Uh, yeah, and then that's a bit of... I think they're using in-game engine type stuff to move the characters around. That looks really quite cool, doesn't it? But yeah, I I'm, I actually think I might be going to get this game. I mean, here you go. He's going down into the dragon's area. You can see it's actually controlling it. There's a dragon all tied up over there in the background, peeps. Pretty darn freaking cool. I have no idea what that spell was. It grew a plant under him for some unknown reason. What the actual fudge was that all about? I guess it'll make more sense once we jump on in and take a better look at this game. And it's not long. You know, it's, it comes out in February. In fact, it drops right by my birthday. The only thing is, I'm thinking that we might get a up, uh, well, an update for No Man's Sky around the same time because you know it comes out for um, PlayStation VR 2 on the 22nd of February, and I'm wondering whether around them whether we might get another update to No Man's Sky, which if we did, I would probably be playing No Man's Sky and not Hogwarts. Hogwarts for me, because of my age. I, I do believe I, I missed the boat a little bit when it comes to, um, you know, Harry Potter and Hogwarts. I think I was just a little bit too old for it. I grew up on the likes of Narnia and the Chronicles of Narnia, the originals, not so much the remakes. And it, it feels very similar or Narnia inspired to me, Harry Potter, but for a newer generation. And it, I just couldn't really get into it as much as I did with Narnia when I was a kid. But at the same time, I still love magic. I love magic. I love fantasy. Uh, I love dragons. So there's a lot in this that I do love. And although I don't like the Harry Potter franchise so much, you know, I would st I'd still go to Harry Potter land because I'm a big freaking kid at the end of the day, you know, and I'd probably end up buying a wand. And you know, I know that they do a wand that actually lets you turn over the TV with it, which that that's kind of cool, isn't it? But anyway, we're going off on a bit of a tangent now, like I normally do while I'm drinking my freaking coffees and teas and hot chocolate in this case. So basically, this video is me saying I was probably a little bit too preemptive in my analysis of Harry Potter. I should have waited a bit longer until we saw this sort of stuff. But I did say I was on the fence and I was looking forward to seeing actual gameplay because what we saw, I think Avalanche was careful with what they put out there not to spoil anything. But at the same time, it sort of made me think, hold on, this doesn't meet expectations or anywhere close to what I expected the game to actually deliver upon. But you know what I think it does? I mean, 
The actual movies of Harry Potter didn't really capitalise on the combat. It was more about the exploration and the solving of puzzles. And now that I've seen a lot more of this gameplay footage, I'm seeing that it's doing true to form to that. And the combat is just there as an extra, isn't it, really? So it's not really there for the combat. I kind of got it all confused. So I just want to say a massive great big sorry for my first video. But I still think this... Yeah, games are getting a little bit generic and a little bit tried and tested. And I think I took out my frustrations on Harry Potter, where really there's other games I could have done that too, to be fair. Um, you know, the whole roly-poly, I'm invincible type shenanigans. It's been done to death. They need to come up with new sort of game mechanics. But is it going to happen in 2023? I'd like to hope it does, but you never know. It it probably won't. Anyway, there we go. I'm, I'm going to end up ranting if I don't if I don't get off this freaking high horse in a moment, people. I need to get into this hot chocolate, and I need to just think about Harry Potter being the fun game that it should be, and it's more about puzzle solving and exploration first and foremost. And I think it's going to deliver on that, and I think it's going to deliver on that in spades. And graphically, it looks really nice now inside of this actual hands-on play that we've seen people in the view of us. So yeah, I'm going to end off now. Take care, all. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.